vertex map painting. This should be fairly straightforward if you follow the steps. We'll basically start by making our selection and then we'll selectively paint onto those edges. And after that it should be a case of just taking all of the text into the main project and dropping the textures onto it and everything should just work first time. And again since this is largely a process we've been through at least once, I'm gonna fast forward through this bit too. Okay, this is it. Um, quite an extensive selection, but it's very simple if you just follow the, the middle line in each section. And uh, the way the loop selection works, it allows you to just grab what you need in uh, all these different places, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just as a little bonus, um, I spotted some issues, not, not big problems to the geometry. I mean, when I enabled symmetry and subdiv, the section in question is right here. It looks fine, right? But uh, just looking at it on this level in point mode, there are some things I just don't like here at all. So here's what I might do. I can take these three points, for example, right click and just weld them together in the middle and do the same here. And this looks a lot cleaner already. At the top here, similar problem. I want to get those three points and just weld them and do the same here. And this to me just seems a whole lot better than it were before. Not a deal breaker, but in my mind, I just prefer keeping things as clean as possible. We still have our selection. So let's go to character and paint. And uh, we just need to click somewhere to begin with then we can erase everything let's set the strength to 100 percent and just click apply all then set this back to add and apply selected we can copy this vertex map tag call it vertex map hot and let's start by erasing everything so just go to the mode change this to erase and apply all then we want to quickly select just the edge sections, the borders on the outside. And uh, that's it. Let's go back to the character paint and we can set this to add and just apply selected. And we are finished. We can just switch this to on, copy this by pressing Ctrl and C on the keyboard. Going back to the main project, and let's uh, jump out of this camera and this is where we are we can just press ctrl and v to paste this and it needs to be positioned roughly as it were in the preview and uh, that's very simple just pull it down basically to about here maybe a little bit closer to our main logo that looks about right and then it's simply a case of copying these textures onto the text and because of the way Cinema 4D works, everything should link up and I can just render. And now our text is textured exactly how we want it to be. And that's the end of this section.
in the next couple of sections we're going to be doing the animation starting with the text animation and then we'll do the camera animations before we render everything and go into After Effects for some compositing work.